October has been a really, really busy month in the watch world. Many hot new pieces came out, including three new models from Patek Philippe. I'm David, and I'm gonna show you all the new watches of October 2021. So, the first one is the new Omega Speedmaster. Technically, this one came out in the end of September, but it's just too good to be left out. So, this is the new Omega Speedmaster Chronoscope. First impression, when you look at it, it just looks beautiful. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the dial. You could call it cluttered, but I think they have integrated this very, very well in the design. I absolutely love this face and all the stuff that's written on it, that's not just for the sake of writing stuff on the dial. It really serves a purpose because the chronograph on this watch serves as a tachymeter, a telemeter and a pulsometer depending on which of these inner circles you look at. So the tachymeter, this is the outer scale on the bezel. This is what you usually find on the chronograph. This is to track uh, the speed of something. Now the next scale is the telemeter. That's the one I find the most interesting. That one allows you to measure the distance of something. Let's say a thunderstorm. The moment you see the lightning, you start the chronograph. And as soon as you hear the thunder, you stop the chronograph and then you can read the distance of the thunderstorm to your location on the dial. And finally, we have the pulsometer, which allows you to measure the heart rate of someone. So very, very useful watch. What I absolutely love is that it also has this new fantastic bracelet that you find on the Speedmaster. Excuse me, the Moonwatch. Now I own the Moonwatch and I got to tell you this bracelet is the, the most comfortable bracelet I've ever worn in my life. Moreover, you got a beautiful case back here on this watch, a fair price, a good amount of different varieties in steel or gold. The only downside for me is the size. This one with 43 millimeters is even a bit bigger than the Moonwatch with 42, which for myself, I think is at the upper limit, although I have rather small wrists, 16.5 centimeters in circumference. So if you're working with at least 17, this watch is gonna fit you fine. All right, now we can go to the October watches as promised. First one that came out was the H Moser, what's it called? Heritage dual time with a burgundy dial, which I find absolutely stunning. It's something that you don't see often. All in all, beautiful watch, plus it has a dual time function. In my opinion, after the date, the most useful complication in watches and it has date as well so very useful watch beautiful piece a bit big i think 42 millimeter case diameter but keep in mind there is no bezel on here so this is all face and the bigger the face the larger the watch looks on your wrist so this watch is gonna look rather large on your wrist also priced not for the faint of heart 22,000 us dollars so if you're rich and have thick wrists, go get it. Beautiful piece. Next up, we got news from Seiko. They have released some turtle themed turtles. They look beautiful. Take a look at them. If you're living in the US, go check them out. They're not available outside of the US, which I don't like. I mean, if you release a watch, release it for everybody, right? So I'm not gonna go into these. If you're a US citizen, go check them out. If you're not, screw Seiko. All right, next up, the new James Bond watch, Omega Seamaster Diver 007 edition. I know, I know, this watch is already on the market a good while, but the new movie, the new Bond movie where this watch is featured came out in October, so we're gonna talk about it. I love the color, not only on the dial, but also on the, on the hands, the indices, the bezel. This is the kind of color you would expect from Fortina, like fake patina. But it doesn't look like fake, it looks like it's, it's, it's meant to be. Also, the mesh bracelet looks beautiful. Beware, I've heard bad things about how this thing feels on the wrist. Plus, the price, double, which in my opinion is not justified. Well, it's titanium watch, all right, but come on, Omega, a bit steep. And also, word on the street is, these are not very popular so far. People have a hard time selling them for a decent price. So if you want to buy this watch, you better keep it. 
like forever, if you don't want to lose money. All right, it feels like Christmas Eve and we're about to open our presents. There are three new Pateks and they are stunning. They are three new chronographs to be exact. Let's start with the first one, this green beauty. This is the reference 5905, an automatic watch with annual calendar and flyback chronograph. In case you're wondering, the difference between a regular chronograph and a flyback chronograph is that with a regular chronograph, you have to start it, stop it with the same button, and then use the lower button to reset it. With the flyback, on the other hand, you can start it, and without stopping it, use the lower button to reset it to zero, and it automatically keeps going. So this is a good thing if you, if you want to time lapse or something. So this is a full steel watch with steel bracelet. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the bracelet. It reminds me of the Aquanaut steel bracelet, which doesn't work in my opinion. On this watch, it looks a little bit better. Well, it's, it's pretty, but I'm not blown away by it. The watch is rather big for a Patek with 42 millimeter case diameter, 14.1 uh, millimeters in height course see-through case back and well just that beautiful green dial 50,000 Swiss francs so that's gonna be like 45 US dollars um yeah not cheap the next Patek we have here is the 5204R which is also chronographed but part of their grand complication series it is a hand wound movement with a split seconds chronograph, instantaneous 30 minute counter, a perpetual calendar with day, month, leap year and day night indication, plus moon phase and small seconds. So this is a real heavy hitter from Patek. Rose gold case, hand wound so you can see the movement in all its glory. Brown leather strap, I mean beautiful piece. With the complications, uh, maybe a bit overkill in my opinion. I mean, the annual calendar on such a piece, uh, in my opinion, is sufficient. No need to add a chronograph, let alone a split seconds chronograph. Anyway, they went all out with this watch. This is reflecting in the price. This thing will set you back about a quarter million. If you don't have that amount of money to spend, there's one more, which is my favorite. And this is the 5930 P, which is a world timer, the world timer design that we are already used to, but now equipped with a chronograph. Now again, on a world timer, I don't really need a chronograph, but what I love about this watch is the color. The green on the dial, together with the green alligator leather strap, just looks fantastic. I mean, this is a stunning piece. It's 39.5 millimeters in diameter, 12.86 height, an automatic movement, case made out of platinum, which is making it a bit more expensive, 85,000 Swiss francs, so that's about 75 US dollars. But I guarantee you, a few years from now, this watch is gonna trade for way more than that. All right, back to Seiko, three more new models from them. They are called the Ice Divers. Again, these are only for the US market, so if you're there, Good for you, go check them out. I'm sitting in Switzerland, so screw Seiko. Let's move on. Next up, for all you flashy guys, there are new offshores out there. And for the first time, they come with in-house movements. That's probably a big surprise for most of you. Not that they now have in-house movements, but they didn't have them before. Audemars Piguet not putting in-house movements in their watches? Well, with the Royal Oak Offshore, that actually was the case. They used base calibers from JLC or Bigge, and then usually added their own chronograph function. This is a thing of the past now, fully in-house movement in these new offshores. Judging from the pictures, they look pretty, pretty nice. I love the dials, 43 millimeter in diameter, if you're wondering. Now, for my personal taste, the offshores are still a bit too chunky. However, if you were on the fence, if you should buy an offshore or not, now is definitely your time to pull the trigger with these new models. They all have an automatic chronograph movement, flyback chronograph to be exact. 
and a pretty nice 70 hour power reserve. Also, we got news out of Germany. Alange und Söhne has released a new Zeitwerk. Zeitwerk, one of my favorite watches. If you're not familiar with it, that's the one that is a mechanical watch, but looks like a digital one. Now this one is made out of what they call honey gold, which I found a bit weird to call a uh, metal honey gold. It looks quite stunning, mainly thanks to the loomed numbers and the, well, let's call it semi-skeletonized face, which allows you to not only see the numbers that are currently displaying the time, but also the loomed numbers in the background, which appear to be under a portion of the sapphire that looks like smoked glass. Stunning optical effect here, see-through case back of course, Lange watches in my opinion are the most beautiful finished movements in the world. Size on this watch 42 millimeter diameter 12.6 height I think are pretty good numbers for this watch. Uh, not such a good number is the price, 145 US dollars. And they are limited to 200 watches. So I assume unless you're already a customer at Lange, you're probably gonna have a hard time getting this watch. And we got a new Hamilton. Let's have a look at it. This is the new Hamilton Corky Pilot Pioneer Automatic. You know, I'm an absolute fan of Hamilton. I believe they offer fantastic price to value ratio. Let's look at this watch. Design wise first, it's a 38 millimeter, which I consider the perfect case diameter. Not sure why they call it a pilot's watch, probably because of the big crown. Other than that, it looks more like a diver to me. If the hands on this watch look familiar to you, it's because they are basically the same hands that are used on the Murph which is the special Hamilton that is featured in the fantastic science fiction movie Interstellar. The watch is 11.4 millimeters thick, which isn't a lot on paper, but if you look at the pictures you see combined with the 38 millimeter diameter, it looks a bit chunky and I'm not sure why they did that because there's an ETA movement inside. By the way, very good reliable movement. However, there are zero complications. Well, there's the seconds hand, but other than that, zero complications. So you could make this watch much slimmer, in my opinion. It has a see-through case back. Well, you're looking at an ETA movement, so not sure if that really is needed. Anyway, all in all, I think it's a beautiful watch. However, I am just missing another complication on this watch like add a date window or even better GMT function, make it a real pilot's watch. That would be fantastic, especially if you look at the price, 995 US dollars for zero complications. Under a thousand seems like a good deal, but then you look at other models from Hamilton with the same movement inside and they go for half of that. Anyway, I like the watch, bit steep, but all in all, solid watch. All right, watch friends, that was it. All the new watches of October 2021. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If it reaches a thousand likes, I'm gonna do it again in November. Until then, take care, have a good one.